so I'm placing, I'm keeping everything quite a lot uh, in a low poly realms right now, and I'm carefully placing these uh, edges onto like the extreme points of the mesh. Um, I'm really starting with a with a super low poly. I will show you what I mean. And I'm also trying to keep everything uh, like kind of in symmetry. So I'll do the exact same uh, for the lower eyelid. So let's do these points, these points. You can see that I'm, I'm constantly jumping between the style of placing the polygons. Sometimes I'm using these dots and shift clicks. Sometimes I just drag that uh, edge out. It really doesn't matter. It's it's like a, a point of convenience for you. What's what's better for for your uh, style of modeling? So right now I'm I'm having the exact the same poly count as for the tear duct. I usually do something like like this. So we have a, like a three polygons here. Uh, I'm checking the direction of the of the edges based on the reference and from also from my mind based on the anatomy. I know uh, there is a, like a circle or a muscle around here, and its fibers are going around and then these edges should be perpendicular to that. I'll do the same thing here. I'll just connect these two with a control and middle click, splitting them, placing this over here. And we have like a similar polygon. Just imagine that these two are like connected like this. And this inner silk circle is the same poly count. So I will delete these for now, but that's like a start. 